Hey cuties, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an at-home leg day. So I do know that a lot of gyms are actually opening back up, but I did get a lot of requests on an at-home leg. Siri keeps listening. I'm on it. Sorry. Okay, that was weird, but um, I do keep getting requests on an at-home leg day, and I figured, you know, there's always going to be someone that's at home that wants a leg workout, so I might as well post it. I usually mix up my leg days between using the resistance band door thing that I told you guys about um, with kettlebells or dumbbells or easy bars, but today's workout is going to mainly consist of just dumbbells, possibly some ankle weights, because I want to keep it relatively simple for a video. I don't want you guys having to pull out a bunch of different things, especially if you don't have all the equipment. I do one day want to do a resistance band workout, but I just feel like less people have the exact thing that I have for my door, and so it's kind of pointless to put it out first, you know, since I haven't put out many workout videos yet. If you have any suggestions as to how I should go about my workouts next time, um, or if you'd prefer me doing like a full workout on here, let me know and I will definitely take it into consideration. But for now, I just feel like this is probably more efficient as I don't think you want to be looking at me for 30 minutes just working out, you know, but yeah. All right, guys, so I feel a little bit weird right now because this is not my usual workout spot but it is my usual video spot, so we're gonna go with it. I'm mainly going to be doing some of my favorite exercises for legs that I just feel like, I don't know, they're really good to do at home and pretty simple. I call these kind of like hack squats, hack squats, because they're like right up here, you know? So you just grab the dumbbells up here, I'll move to my side here, and you'd have a regular stance, so kind of like this, you know? And then you squat all the way down. Always keep your chest up. Knees do not cave inwards. And you squat. All right, guys. So the next one we're going to be doing, I feel these so nicely on my glutes and my hamstrings. They do also target the lower back a little bit, but you should not be feeling pain down there. You should be just feeling sore. If you're feeling discomfort, you definitely have to watch your form, fix yourself, lower the weight a little bit. I had to lower the weight significantly for quite some time just to start getting used to the whole form. I usually like to go a little bit higher in weight, but I don't want to be switching it around for this video, so we're going to leave it like this. I kind of stand just like shoulder width apart for these. You can kind of feel out what feels better for you. I think everybody is different, and as long as you're not doing something completely stupid for your body, um, you know, sometimes you have to tweak things a bit to work for, for them to work for you. Bend your knees like this. You're gonna go down and back up. Now, with deadlifts, you can always go all the way back up. That's the usual form. But I personally have noticed that, and I know I'm doing a lot of talking here, but I want to kind of guide you guys through this. Um, I have found that I feel it a lot more on my lower body if I kind of just end right up here instead of going all the way up. There's nothing wrong with going all the way up. I do those as well. But for this video, I'm just going to be showing you how I do these almost like half rep. I guess they'd be like half reps. Um, I just wanted to make that clear in case someone thinks I just don't know the proper deadlift form. I am very well aware of that. So we're gonna go. You wanna be putting zero pressure on your back. All your strength is coming from your hamstrings and your glutes. Another big classic that we have are lunges. Lunges are something that I do quite a bit. You can always do walking lunges, reverse lunges, elevated lunges from the front, from the back. There are just so many different types. You know, you can use an easy bar, you can use a dumbbell. I'm going to use dumbbells obviously right now, and I'm just going to do your basic classic lunge. I hate lunges very much, but they are super good for you, and I find really good results when I do lunges, so that is what I will be doing. Um, since we're targeting the glutes and hamstrings right now, we're going to make sure we're going wide enough when you're trying to do more of a quad-focused workout. You can go a little closer to your leg, so as to put more pressure on the front of your leg is, um, instead of the back. And just do a few of these for you. 
You always want to make sure your back is kept straight, your chest is kind of just opened up. I feel like making sure that my chest is open always helps keep my form in general just nice and steady. Something really important to remember when you're doing these, and honestly when you're doing any exercise for that matter, is to really use that mind-muscle connection on whatever muscle you're trying to target. So right now I was really thinking about my glutes, squeezing them, making sure that they are the ones pushing me up and pulling me back down. Same with my hamstrings. You kind of keep your mind on both of them. You concentrate on squeezing those muscles and it makes a world of a difference. Go slower. There's no need to rush through these. If you're trying to build muscle, you want to focus on that time and just, especially if you have lower weights, time under tension is a huge help for you. All right guys, so now we're going to be doing something like hamstring curls. I would usually use ankle weights with these just because it's easier to lift my foot up, but I could not find them. I think they're somewhere in my garage. I haven't used them in a while. So I brought out my kettlebell and I'm pretty much just gonna put my foot on the inside of this and lift it up. You guys can use these same if you have a kettlebell with a soft like texture on it, like this is not gonna hurt me. Or if you have ankle weights, like obviously use those and go down very slowly, and then you go back up. You kind of go up until it feels best for you, honestly. Um, I've learned that usually it feels best when I kind of go halfway. When I go all the way up, you lose the tension up here. So I like to come here. Now we're gonna do a few straight on, just to kind of show you. Now this is a big one on mind-muscle connection. I am squeezing really, really hard, mainly the hamstrings. On my way down, I want to keep it very controlled. I'm not swinging my leg around, same way on the way up, but I feel like I'm actually doing more work on that way down. You know, you don't want to slam your foot back down. I feel like with certain exercises, we all have a certain sweet spot and you kind of have to figure yours out. It does take some trial and error, so don't get frustrated, just keep at it. Like I said, it's all about time under tension with these types of exercises especially and just making sure your form is good. Your back should not be hurting. If it does, you're probably bending too much or putting some, str um, some strain on that while you're lifting up your weight. You wanna remember you're doing all of the work on your hamstring right here, not necessarily your butt, not necessarily your calves, and not any other part, just your hamstrings. All right, guys, so that is actually the end of this video. I hope you found some of these helpful. If you give them a try and like them, let me know how that goes. There are different variations. You can always substitute the dumbbells for other types of weights. Like I said before, kettlebells work fine, resistance bands works fine. When you're at home, you sometimes have to get a little bit creative. You can even use household objects that have weight. But in the end, these are just some of my favorite exercises that I like to incorporate on a lot or most of my life days, even when I'm at the gym. So yeah, give me a big thumbs up if you found this helpful. Leave me any comments or suggestions for other videos down below. You can reach me at my email, which is always in the description, and Instagram as well will be up on the screen at some point. Have a great day, guys. Bye.